We have to settle this beef right here, right now. Hey, are you ready to become a sexy data engineer? Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will tackle the subject of data engineering and what do data engineers actually do. I feel like there is a lot of content about data science and data scientists in general, and it being called the sexiest job of the 21st century definitely contributes to that. However, I beg to differ, okay? I feel like data engineers are just as sexy as data scientists. We have to settle this beef right here, right now. Data scientists are only as good as the data they use. And that's where we come in, data engineers. And just because we work more in the background doesn't mean that our job is less valuable, important, and more importantly, less sexy. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of what data engineering is and what do data engineers do. And maybe this video will even inspire some of you to become a data engineer. And if this video actually sways your decision either way, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, enough talking. Let's roll the intro. Let's start with some facts. Google gets over 3.5 billion searches every single day, and 90% of all data has been created in the past two years. The total amount of data captured, consumed, copied, created in the last year around the world is 59 zettabytes, and that is 21 zeros just if you were curious. The rapid growth of digitalization only contributes to the rapid growth of data sphere. And with that, there is a rapid growth in digital, especially data skills shortage. Data engineers are in a very high demand right now, even higher demand than data scientists. According to the data science interview report, there has been an increase of 40% in the data engineering interviews, comparing that to the 10% for data science interviews. On average, there are two and a half people for one data engineering position. That number is doubled for the data science position. This obviously impacts the salary, which is very positive for all of us in the data engineering field. I feel like data engineering might be a really good career choice for a lot of you out there, because as you can see, the demand is very high and the competition really low. So it should be fairly easy for you to get a job in data engineering. Data engineering is a set of operations aimed at providing organized, consistent data flows to enable data-driven work. If you think of a data flow, there is the first step, which is the data capture and the data creation process. And at the end, there is the data analysis and data science process. So data engineering is everything here in between. How do we get from point A to point B? This is data engineering. I actually started data engineering flashcard series on my Instagram, so make sure to check it out. Every week, I will bring you a dose of data engineering to your feed, so make sure to follow me there. Hey, are you ready to become a sexy data engineer? Constructing data pipelines is the main responsibility of data engineers. So what is a data pipeline? Data pipeline ensures the consistent and the efficient flow of data throughout the organization. We can't talk about data pipelines without mentioning ETL. ETL is a popular framework for designing data pipelines. ETL stands for extract, transform, load. The first step is extract. This is basically the process of extracting data from multiple sources. If you think about it, organizations use data from multiple sources and sometimes actually more often than not, you will be required to bring new data to the company. This might involve contacting different vendors or web scraping, for example. In this stage, you will set up API connections to get the data from the source. Once you have the data from multiple sources, the second step is transform. If you think about it, all this data coming from all these different sources will be very messy, will be in different formats, have different naming conventions. So your job now is to make everything consistent. You'll remove the nulls, remove the errors, you'll make sure that the naming conventions are the same and that you map the right records to each other. You will also change the format and combine the data. And last but not least, 
validated. Once your data is clean or as clean as possible, you will move to the final step, which is load. In this step, you will load the data into database or databases and optimize it for analysis. So you need to make sure that this data is in the most queryable format possible because data scientists will access this data to create the models and predictions and forecast. And data analysts will use different BI tools like Power BI or Tableau to conduct the analysis. You will not always use ETL. Sometimes you might use ELT, for example, if you're using a data lake. Of course, data pipeline process might differ. However, I feel like ETL is the most popular one and is definitely the one that is worth knowing about if you're thinking about becoming a data engineer. As a data engineer, you'll write scripts to automate the extracting, the transforming, the combining, the validating, and the loading of the data. We automate these things to reduce human intervention, errors, and time it takes for data to flow from point A to point B. Once data engineers build these pipelines, the job is not done yet. They will have to maintain these pipelines, they will have to monitor them, improve them, and also if there is any issue with them, they will have to fix it. As more and more data is involved, these pipelines will become more complex and sophisticated. As you can see, data engineering is very important and valuable job. And I think it's definitely worth considering if you are thinking of a job in a data sphere. Hey, before you go, subscribe to my channel to join me on the journey to financial independence and lifelong learning. Thanks guys.